Hi there, this is um, TechStuff31, and I'm going to show you how to add a printer. This is a pretty basic thing, but some people have some trouble with it. I'm also going to show you how to get rid of the printer. Okay, so first thing to do is open System Preferences. Okay. It's pretty basic. You go to Printers and Scanners. Okay, and this bar is very important. Yours may or may not be locked depending on your settings. So if it's locked, just go and enter your name and password. Okay, so now it's unlocked. So it, you may start out like this or you may have to unlock it down here. Okay, so first I'm just going to get rid of one of the printers, and then I'll just add it again. So, I'm just going to get rid of this printer by hitting, if you click on the printer that you want, and you hit this minus button, and then you like, you want to delete the printer, and you say yes. Okay, to add a printer, you just hit this plus button. Add a printer or scanner. Okay, and here is a list of printers on your network. And this is my printer right here. And it gets all the information about it right here. You can enter a location if you like. Mine's in the, in the attic. I'm just going to enter attic. That's not necessary. And in yours, since I had already uh, installed the software for this printer, um, it went through immediately. But you um, may have to wait and let it download the software. This is the great thing about Macs. You don't actually have to use the disk that's included with the printer. It just finds the, the software needed off the internet and downloads it, downloads it all by itself. So that's pretty good. Um, there's some other things you can do here. Um, it just shows you some general information, supply levels, stuff with those. Um, you can also set up scanning here. Um, and if your printer's not on the network, what you would have to do is press Add Printer Scanner and then put in the IP address, which you would have to find manually on your printer. And you may have to consult your printer's book for that. Then you just enter the IP address with the dots, it's very important, press Add, and it would do the same thing. Okay. Thank you. Hope you like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions or troubles, just comment below.